Hello! Happy New Year! I hope you had a lovely time with friends, family, who you spent the holidays with. I know I did, I took some time off. It was great. But now school is back in session and I'm doing what only the meanest, nastiest, bitchiest teacher could ever do to you. A pop quiz! That's right, cause we're fucking behind by a landslide. And so, without warning, this is a quiz on the last, not 10, not 15, but 20 videos. Oops, sorry. This is my little podium. Actually, I like it there because I'm giving a quiz. So despite covering 20 videos, it's gonna be set up the exact same way. Same as always, 30 questions, multiple choice, or true or false, or select all. No free response, cause you know, how would we do that? Some of the longer videos are gonna be the ones that have two questions, all the other ones will have one question. And also, as always, one thing that the meanest, nastiest, bitchiest teacher wouldn't let you do is uh, turn this into a game. Any kind of game you want. Drinking game, maybe a little canvas game, maybe juice game, just drink some apple juice every time you get that question right. Whatever you want to do. I would really appreciate if you keep track of your scores so you can tell me in the comments at the end so I know how you did to see if I'm doing a good job at explaining shit and also because I like to see what you get. So let's just get right into it. Question one. Select the following cats that are in the big cat family, i.e. genus panther. A, lions. B, cougars. C, tigers. D, cheetahs. E, leopards. All right, so obviously this is a select all. The answers are A, C, E, ace. Cougars and cheetahs are large cats, but they are not in the big cat family, and they also cannot roar. Question two. What is the scientific term for the hammer on a hammerhead shark? Hint, I don't like it. I, mean, I like the name of it. A, sepalofoil. B, hamojamo. C, pachyosoderm, or D, mandibular arch. The answer is A, cephalofoil. I don't like the name of it. I'd rather call it the hammer. So, if you didn't get this one right, I get it because I only mentioned it once and said I didn't like it, so maybe that's on me. Anyway, question three. What is the nickname of the iconic Sahelanthicus genesis skull? This one. By the way, this one. Wow. A, Sandy. B, Lucy. C, Tuma. D, Java Man. The answer is C, Tuma. Tuma is the name of the skull. That's it, straightforward. Question four. Paris Aridurium was an absolute tank back in the day. It happens to be my favorite Usain Dandel. What were they exactly? A, a giant trumpless elephant. B, a giant hornless rhino. C, the ancestor of waves. D, the largest rat to ever exist. That we know. The answer is B, a giant cornless rhino. Paris Aridurium was a giant, extinct, cornless rhino. You could walk right under with absolutely no issue. Question five. What is the taxonomic family that humans and other great apes belong to? A, hominini. B, felidae. C, hominidae. Or D, primates. The answer is C, hominidae. If you guessed primates, we are a part of primates along with the other great apes, but that is the or, not the family. So that was kind of hard one. Or maybe it wasn't. I guess we'll find out. Question six. Cheetah Conservation Fund has developed a wide variety of solutions to the problems cheetahs face in the wilds, some of which include other species. What program are Anatolian Shepherds part of? A, Scout Detection Dog Program. B, Carnivore Search and Rescue Program. C, Bush Block. Or D, Livestock Grinding Dog Program. The answer is D. They are raised to be livestock herding dogs for farmers around Namibia. And it's a great program with a huge success rate. Helps keep cheetahs and other carnivores safe and livestock safe and farmers safe. Everybody's safe. Woo! Question seven. True or false? Humans domesticated cats to eliminate the rats around their settlements by training them to do a variety of hunting jobs. The answer is false. Cats domesticated themselves. Humans didn't trade them to do anything. They just did it all right. And that's why cats are the ideal form, in my opinion. Question eight. The deepest diving seal is A, leopard seal, B, ribbon seal, C, elephant seal, or D, sperm seal. The answer is C, elephant seal. All right, question nine. And I'm so sorry for the chemistry question, but we had talked a lot about chemistry in the last six months, which is very unusual. So, gotta. Carbon-13 and carbon-14 are examples of what? A, isotopes. B, electrons. C, thermoregulation. Or D, neutral neutrons. The 
The answer is A, isotopes. Question 10. This one might be a tough one. It's very niche, but it wasn't a video. So we'll see how you do. Back in the day, Afrofoca was thought to be the earliest representative of the sea lineage, but has since been reclassified as something else entirely. They're now thought to be most closely related to A. Ours. B. Elephants. C. Hippos. Or D. Manatees. The answer is C. Hippos. I feel like that one might have been a little bit too difficult. Well, that question might have had you stumped. There's no question you should get yourself cozy in some vomits. Wait, I need the vomit. Vomits. A comfort focused premium basics brand with a mission to help those in need. Sock season is here. We're in the thick of it. And Bombas genuinely makes the most comfortable socks I'd ever put on my feet. They've got built-in arch support, invisible toe seams, and they somehow always come out of the wash looking and feeling brand new. Super, super nice quality materials like merino wool and extra long staple cotton. But what makes Bombas really stand out is their mission. Every time you buy something, an item gets donated to someone in need. That's what the founders and Bombas initially started the company for, realizing that socks are the most requested clothing item at homeless shelters. Bombas was founded to solve the problem, and it's since donated over 150 million essential clothing items, socks, underwear, and t-shirts, to homeless shelters across all 50 states. Every item you buy translates to an item donated, which means you feel good and you do good every time you shop with them. That's sick. Personally, I love their slippers. Super cozy, very plush, and that is also something I want to show you. Heel! Peel. I shouldn't be wearing them with these socks, but they're very comfortable. Calving slippers and gripper slippers. They're all gripped up on the bottom, which help to not slip because they have grip. Both perfect for frigid mornings when I get home to make my coffee. I'm telling you, dude, they're a game changer. I like them so much, I decided to not only get my sister a pair of cabin slippers, which I already told you, but my mom and dad got some Sunday slippers for Christmas as well. And immediately after Christmas, my mom was wearing hers every single day. We had family in town, so she was running all over the house, and the Sunday slippers were helping keep her feet nice and cozy. Yeah, Bombas is the perfect winter gift for you or for someone else. Everyone loves some new cozy stuff. And even better, right now, customers get 20% off their first purchase. Just go to bombas.com slash Lindsay and use my code Lindsay20 at checkout. That is bombas.com slash Lindsay, code Lindsay20. They have free returns and exchanges for any reason, so you can sleep at night with cozy socks, knowing you're covered if anything happens to them, and knowing you're doing good for someone you need. Thank you, Bombas, for sponsoring this video. Now, on to the next question, which is question 11. The Death Watch Beal was considered a bad omen in Europe, as families would usually hear their steady tapping on the walls of their homes while a family member was sick. It was thought to be a message from the Grim Reaper himself. What was the tapping actually used for? A, tapping on the wood like a woodpecker to get the good stuff and eat it. B, to locate the rest of the beetle colony so you get lost. C, to bang, find mates. D, it actually is a message from the Grim Reaper himself. Dun, dun, dun. The answer is C, to bang. What in doubt the answer is to bang. Question 12, true or false? Crows have facial recognition. The answer is true. You don't piss off a crow, you'll be fucked. Question 13, Publophonius is an extinct genus of A, Macaron's, B, true big cat, C, Nimrabic, D, thornless rhino. The answer is C, Nimrabbit from the False Cats video. Nimrabbits are, well, actually, I'm not telling you anything else because there might be another question coming up. Question 14. Say the elephants in Kenya uses GPS collars to track the movements of hundreds of elephants. What do they use this data for? A, to create maps of elephant highways to understand the most crucial routes for the species. B, to locate specific elephants. C, to protect specific zones through legislation that are important for elephants. Or D, all of the above. The answer is obviously D, all of the above. Could have probably made that one a little more difficult, but that's okay. Question 15, which of the following is the oldest Ardipithecus species that we know? A, Ardipithecus ramidus. B, Ardipithecus cadaba. C, Ardipithecus africanus. Or D, Ardipithecus boisei. The answer is B, Ardipithecus cadaba. Ardipithecus ramidus is like 4.4 million years old, 4.2 to 4.4 million years old. Ardipithecus cadaba is like 5.2 to 5.8 million years old. It's quite old. You wanna go out? You wanna just leave it open? I kinda can't. But actually, I can't. I will leave it open. I'll also show you Nico. Let's see how long she'll stay up here. Not long. Yeah, you don't wanna be up here. Okay, question 16. In great apes, beefy clavicles are a sign of A, lots of climbing and swinging. B, swimming, swimming and quiet. C, long distance running, or D, handstands.
The answer is A, lots of climbing and swinging. Maybe handstands too. Who says they weren't doing handstands? Hmm, much to think about. Question 17. So like the following arthropods, they're often used in forensic entomology. A, low flies. B, flesh flies. C, remested beetles. D, all of the above. Another classic all of the above. Question 18. The famous black skull belongs to which early hominin species? A. Aurora tuganensis. B. Australopithecus ramex. C. Paranthropus boisea. Or D. Paranthropus ethiopicus. The answer is D. Paranthropus ethiopicus. Question 19. The vampire finch most often feeds on the blood of which bird? A. Cassowaries. B. Ostriches. C. Shoebills. Or D. Red footed boobies. The answer is a resounding D. Red footed boobies. Question 20. There's a particular behavior called stumping in a specific kind of bird. What bird is it and what does it refer to? A. Shoebills. The clapping they do with their bills to find mates. B. Frogmats is their camouflage technique as they become part of the tree. C. Cassowaries, the tapping on the ground with their hands clawed to locate prey. D. Ostriches, their mating dance. The answer is B. Frogmats, and it's their camouflage technique. They look like part of the tree, unless you startle them, bim, whatever that means. Question 21. True or false? The Nimravids are an extinct branch within the Feli family tree. False. That's why I couldn't tell you. They are in Feliformia, the cat-like branch in Carnivora, but they are not true cats in Feli. Question 22. The famous fossil blue sea belongs to which hominin species? A. Australopithecus afarensis. B. Australopithecus africanus. C. Homo erectus. Don't. Or D. Homo habilis. The answer is A, Australopithecus afarensis. Question 23. The Laetoli footprints, dated to about 3.6 million years old, show evidence that hominins in this area at this time were still quadrupedal. B, walking by Keeley. C, hopping between trees. Or D, all of the above. Yes, it is a trick question because usually all of the above means all of the above. But the answer is B, walking by Peely. Question 24. The largest beaver dam that we know of is located in A, China, B, Norway, C, Canada, D, Montana. The answer is C, Canada. You can see it via satellite. Question 25. Select the following functions of a beaver dam. A, shelter. B, safe from predators with hidden door. C, slows flow of water. D, Bacteria farming. Well, you could maybe make an argument for D. It's not really what we talk about with beaver dams. At least that's not what I told you to have. So the answers are A for C. I'm willing to hear arguments though. The beavers aren't farming it, but I'm willing to hear arguments. Okay, question 26. What copies are found in which of the following countries? A, Congo. B, Uganda. C, Kenya. D, Botswana. The answer is A, Congo, with a little bit of B, Uganda, because they are sometimes very rarely found on the Uganda side of the border, but it's mostly Congo. So if you said A, you get a point. If you said A and B, you also get a point with a little extra star next to it, because you remembered probably. Okay, question 27. It's possible that Homo sapiens became contaminated by herpes virus via which early hominin species? A, Aurora tugenensis. B, Australopithecus ramidus. C, Paranthropus boisea. Or D, Paranthropus ethiopicus. The answer is C, Paranthropus boisea. You notice how some of these uh, aren't even real species. I'm, I'm, I'm combining some shit together. I hope you're noticing that. Question 20. Which of the following are eusocial insects or have eusocial species slash groups? A, ants. B, bees. C, termites. D, naked mole rats. The answer is A through C because I specifically asked about insects, but I can see now that I'm reading it out loud that maybe that little parenth that little parenthes parentheses, I'm getting it mixed up with parenthopus, parentheses section might have gotten you a little confused, but I did say insects or have you social groups. No, that's confusing. All right, if you said 
A, B, and C, you're correct. If you said A, B, C, D, you're also correct. But nobody's getting a star on this one. The star is if you have it correct. No extra star. Okay, question 29. Homo habilis exhibits less prognathism than Australopithecus. What does that mean? A, Homo habilis has more variation between individuals. B, Homo habilis has a flatter face. C, Homo habilis was less of a climber. Or D, Homo habilis had smaller teeth. The answer is B, flat face. Prognathism, less prognathism is flat face. Question 30, the final question. Which hominin species is Java man? A, Homo erectus, B, Homo rudolfensis, C, Homo habilis, and D, Homo sapiens. The answer is A, Homo erectus. Don't. Yeah, that's the quiz. Tally it up, let me know what you got. Should I do a bonus question? The bonus question is you get an extra point if you put in your comments um, your favorite thing about winter break. Makes you feel like you're in school again, doesn't it? So yeah, if you answer that, if you answer me that, then you get an extra point, all right? Yeah, it's 2026, at least at the time that this video comes out. Because right now, maybe it's December 29th, 2025. Maybe. 2026, I'm personally excited for because I'm starting the year off with 75 hard. I'm challenging myself to 75 hard, that, you know, workout diet thing challenge. I tried to do it last year, but then the fires happened. And so that was quite a big distraction from it. And so I'm trying again. So from starting, well, I have started on either January 1st or January 2nd, depending on how hungover I am January 1st. If I'm not hungover, sorry, if I was not hungover on January 1st, then I started on January 1st. But we're gonna assume I started on January 2nd, which means no matter what, 75 hard will be done like four or five days before my birthday. That will be a nice way to celebrate. I'm just telling you a couple of different things, I guess. Another thing I'm excited about is, and don't worry about me when I say this, okay? But I am technically moving again. I move a lot. I have been moving a lot, always for good things. It's always for good things. And this time I'm not moving far. I'm literally moving right next door um, because the setup of the place is really sick. It's a sweet uh, setup for me. I'm very excited about that. This is gonna look exactly the same. There's just the possibility there will be no light switch on the wall that I'm putting it on. So I guess, you know, if you've made it this far into the video, then you might be, you know, the only ones aware of me even moving at all. I guess we'll see. But yeah, 2026 is gonna be a great year. I hope you have a lovely year and I hope that uh, whatever goals you make for yourself, you stick to them and yeah. Hope you did well on the quiz. Hope you're feeling great now, no matter what game you played during quiz. And I guess that's it. So thank you, Bombas, for sponsoring this video. And for now, stay curious. The world is a lot for us to learn. See ya.